you moved when uh, Burnley got relegated. Were you sort of a little bit disappointed to be leaving? This yes, summer? yes, I was very much so. Um, I'd made my mind up I was going to stay at Burnley and um, I thought the club would want to keep me as well. But uh, the financial restraints, at the t uh, even then at that time, was great. And um, we had a astute chairman called Bob Lord and he was a stickler for balancing the books. And um, when we got relegated, I was the first one to uh, move on, so to speak, and uh, with no regrets, by the way. Well, absolutely not. I mean, uh, how, easy, how easy was it uh, like to settle into life uh, in, in Tottenham? Very, very difficult. Uh, Burnley, with the greatest respect, was a, a smaller club and um, uh, a family club. And then you have a look at the playing staff, and uh, that was at Tottenham at the time. And I was aghast at the names such as Alan Mullery and Mike England, Pat Jennings, Martin Chivers, Martin Peters, Steve Perryman. You can go on and on and on. And uh, it was a tremendous to move to such a big club as this. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, obviously you're a great player for the club, but I think there's going to be one memory that's going to stick in everyone's mind for, for uh, everyone, which was your League Cup winning goal. Um, can you just talk us through the sort of the, sort of the goal and that? You weren't even in the uh, starting lineup. No, I wasn't. I was a bit disappointed. The day started. It's funny, football is a life of up and downs. And I started the day uh, disappointed when Bill said, I'm making you sub. I had a slight injury and uh, he wasn't going to risk me and uh, he put me sub. And um, so I made my mind up that I'd be watching the game for at least. It's a, it's a silly situation. You, you're hoping you get on, but you don't want to get on because you, you know the team probably be struggling. Uh, unfortunately, John Pratt got injured after 15 minutes, which was very, very sad because he's a mate of mine. And then uh, I came on a sub and how things changed in the course of a few hours. And uh, I scored the winning goal against Norwich in the cup final. Yeah. Not just a winning goal, it was a bit of a belter, that one. It, was, uh, it wasn't bad, uh, yeah, it's, it's in the memory. And I, even to this day, people uh, stop me in the supermarkets and tapped me on the shoulder and said, that was a great goal, you know, well done. Thank you very much for what you've, you know, and it's, it's tremendous. And they still remember it. Excellent. Um, I mean, sort of, this, it's, there's something about this club, isn't there? There's something that sort of makes it so special. I mean, we were just talking to Cliff Jones. He was saying that, you know, it's, it's always this ethos to play football beyond anything else. And I think that's all come from sort of Bill Nicholson and it's moved sort of onwards from there. Well, it has. Uh, the, the history of the club's tremendous. Uh, the first team to win the double and uh, it's great and if you just look through the uh, archives at the history of the club and the success that the club have had it's absolutely tremendous great great club okay um and just wanted to sort of talk to you about a couple of players as well um just first one alan mullery and uh, sort of your memories of him as a player yes well i admired alan uh, greatly when i played for burnley and when i was young and um he's a little bit older than me and uh, He's my type of player and uh, tenacity and got stuck in and he'd win the ball. Um, I think he won the ball and then gave it to other players to um, make a name for themselves. But you've, ha you've got to have that tenacity to win the ball, which Alan did have. And what a great skipper. He kept you on your toes. If you made a mistake, you knew about it. And um, he said in his own way, he used to G you up. It was great. Great. Mm -hmm. um, Martin Chivers as well. He used to. He got. He got a fair few goals for Spurs, didn't he? Yes. One of the. Uh, one of the main reasons. Um, looking at the players, uh, was mentioned Martin Chivers, and I was a winger at the time, and um, I thought, well, all you've got to do is get the ball across, and uh, there's a good chance that Martin Chivers will be on the, the end of it, and invariably, that's that's what happened. I crossed mm. it, and Martin used to come in and head the goals and score, and it was a, a great. Made you, made you look good and great cross, yeah. I was, I was sort of, as I say, I've been watching the uh, sort of footage and that, and so watching Martin Chivers, it almost looks like he could easily adapt to sort of playing the Premier League today. He's sort of got the height, he's got the power, and, yeah. and all that. He's and got he's also, despite his height and power, he's, he was quick as well. And um, for, for a big chap, he was uh, muscular and, uh, and he had all the attributes. He was a great athlete. That's great. Um, and uh, just. Uh, Finally, uh, another one of the players I've been uh, admiring is uh, Alan Gilzine. He's an absolutely incredible player. Wasn't Brilliant. He? Uh, once again, I, I looked at the list before I joined Spurs and Alan Gilzine was there and um, um, 
it complemented Martin Chivers and uh, he used to play off. Alan was the chap who held it up and he was great in the air and he used to um, flick it on. And one of the main reasons I joined Spurs was that uh, I had more hair than him at the time, so which made it uh, great for me. <laughs> I wasn't going to mention your hair. It was, uh, it was the, uh, I've got the clips from the uh, League Cup. It was, it was a bit of a haircut, wasn't it? It was, it was, it was, it was funny. And uh, it was ironic that I had to stick with it because people recognised me uh, because of the hair, you know. And uh, the winning goal at Wembley, I, was, I got an advantage because it was a swirling wind and it was a long throw from Martin Chivers and flicked on by Martin Peters and it was a swirling wind and it was because of my hair was falling from right to left and I knew where the wind was going, <laughs> so I was a step ahead. <laughs> <laughs>